tracking teen violence in other East Valley City, adopting a new ordinance targeting brass knuckles. I'm Ashley Holden here in Tempe, speaking with a victim who's been working to create positive change and also learning how this city's ordinance is different from the rest. This ordinance hits close to home for our family. For months, Connor Jarnigan and his mom have traveled across the valley sharing the teen's story. When I was randomly and unexpectedly hit from behind in the back of my head, I immediately felt blood rushing from the back of my head and soaking into my sweater and back. A victim of teen violence attacked at the Gilbert In-N-Out in December 2022. The assault so violent, brass knuckles were used. Our family decided to deal with the trauma of our personal experience by taking a stand against brass knuckles. Connor has worked to spark positive change, pushing for restrictions when it comes to brass knuckles. Speaking before both Chandler and Gilbert passed new ordinances banning the possession or sale of brass knuckles to minors back in May. If you search for light, then there can be good that comes out of any situation. Thursday, speaking again in Tempe, but the proposed ordinance going a step further. Tempe's brass knuckles ordinance is the most comprehensive one to date. The language bans the possession of brass knuckles for people of all ages in public and sale to minors. It also has a thorough description of materials that could be used. We know that brass knuckles can be made from many different materials, plastic, bone, um, metal, it, lots of different things, and their language is all encompassing. Councilwoman Burdetta Hodge says she's worked on the language for six to eight months with input from the Jarnigans. I didn't even realize that it was a problem, but one child that gets affected like Connor is one too many. And that item passes unanimously seven to zero. The council passing the new ordinance unanimously. Connor and his mom already focused on taking their fight back to the state capitol. We definitely plan on going back to the capitol, um, hopefully for a full ban this time. Multiple Tempe council members promising their support. I hope it's a monopoly effect that we all take precedence in, not just the East Valley. I want it to be statewide. The changes in Tempe will take effect in 30 days. Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.